and your boat is completely mirrored. And this is the hardest bit to do, of course. Looks a bit more like a canoe. Oh, that's all right, I think. Yes, I think that's okay. So I've got my boat. I know where my boat's going there. I'm not too worried about the ones at the back. But I've got, I can work to look towards this now. Because that gets very dark up there. And then there's this tiny little bit of light just under it. That's not dark enough. So I'm going to find the colour. Here we are. This was the colour I was using. And this actually has a bit of this sort of effect now. And this side is a lot more in shadow. I'm not worried about if I paint over the boat. It's just there's for guidance. better I think we're beginning to build up a bit of complexity at the front see how this grey looks yes this is quite nice we're putting a little bit of light on Dorothy the orange reflection looks lighter to me than the orange in the sky. So no, the, the reflection, it should be darker. Um, and in actual fact, it's darker here. It is darker here, but this is generally darker than that. And that's the whole reflection. This bit won't re be reflected down here because it's the land's in the way. If you so. It wouldn't be reflected here. You've got all these clouds and the land. I hope that makes sense. I like this grey up here. I think that's a lovely colour. And I'm going to bring it down and then I will go over it with some little orange light bits. And it kind of comes across here I keep saying I'm not going to blend anymore and then I, I keep blending this is much darker so I'm going to come in with this much darker grey mixing with the colour underneath now and like lightening it up but I'll keep going very very light touch for this we are getting there there is a little bit of a darker reflection in here Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? And I'm going to go up now and start back at my sky, putting in some lighter bits. It's not quite white. It's a very, very, very pale mint. Bring some more of this blue down 
to mix with that so it will ju just fade itself really. Got some streaks in there, don't worry about it. I've got some paper showing through up here, so I'm going to go back in what we did down here. I'm going to do a bit more at the top. So I did have this quite dark purple. I'm going in with this mid blue here. I think that's too light. So let's go back in with the, the very dark one that I used down here. That's better. That's it, that gives that, that gives that feeling of that sky looming. And then I need to marry that into each other a bit more. So I'm going to come in with this. Made that out a bit more. I want a bit of this blue reflected down here, I think. That might be too light. That's quite good. It's like a really dark ultramarine. It's quite a purpley blue. Mm, probably overdone that. Let's have a look. How do you ever get to a point where you feel you decide you've done enough and that's the end? That's the hardest thing. Yeah, I've got a lot of pastel on here. You can see it all slipping around now. But I quite like that effect. I like the sky. I will put these lighter bits, it'll be a mix of putting dark and light in there to get that looking more, chop, not choppy, but textured. So now I've got quite enough pastel on my paper that is kind of just scumbling and slipping and I want to fade out those ripples the further away so they'll only really show nearer the boat. I'm not sure my boat's big enough but I can make it bigger when I put it in. I'm going back in with some of this grey. I want a sharp edge. I don't seem to have one. Let's try. There we are. That's better. Just trying to blend that a little bit. Really, really, really gentle. And then this lovely, lovely light mauve. Trying to keep it horizontal.
come down we've got some of these little light areas really gently just brushing it so it blends rather than makes distinct marks and I want to blend this a bit as well right I think we're getting there There's a little bit of lighter colour there and I can use probably something like this because it is so dark. Yeah, look. So it looks like the sun's coming up and catching it there. Right, I'm going to put my boat in and then I will be able to see what I think of the rest of it. I'm going to try putting my boat in with this really, really, really dark purple. I will probably use the pencil to tighten it up. I'm going to use a cotton bud just to blend that a bit. And then my pencil. See, the black pencil is not as dark as the purple, which is weird. And just under there, there's a tiny little bit of light as well. I've left a little bit in, but it's not quite as obvious as I'd like it to be. And that also... So I've had a look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to photograph my picture because I'm not sure the boat's big enough. And I find it always helps to photograph your work and then have another look at it. I think I might make it just a little bit bigger. I'm going to use the dark blue because it's got a better edge on it. Even that I think looks better. It's just a fraction bigger. And again... I don't want to get too pernickety. So just to crisp up the edge. This is the lighter one. it out up there so it looks like it's gradually coming forward so I think my water is probably okay but I'm going to carry on finish the sky and then I might come back and go oh but that needs doing and I've still got my little boats to put in the sky is darker in this but I quite like that although I may just try in fact I'm going to put some clouds on with this lovely mauve And they look rubbish at the moment, but bear with me because I'm going to I'm going to blend these. So now, question is fingers or tools? Tools, I think. That colour comes quite a way down, doesn't it? So I'm going to bring it across here and see what happens much more
I need to merge that a bit into the background. So I'm going to go back in, which colour? Yeah, this one. Because that kind of fades it. And I can, if I ever do it, I can just put the lighter ones back in. I'm not too worried. I, I think I want this to look a little... Um, I don't want that light colour to go all the way off the page. I'm going to regret doing that, aren't I? But let's see, let's keep going. Don't want it stripey. Okay, no, I think that's it's getting there. Because then I can come in, these are quite dark, these quite dark grey clouds here. I'm going to put a bit more of that light in. Light, there we are. And that should just blend itself. Lovely, yeah. And that. It's quite a dark grey. Yeah, I like that. Just move that into the purple. Now I've got some of these really quite dramatic clouds here. And that cloud is actually, I think, this sort of colour. It's more of a, I'll, I'll try it and we'll see if we don't like it. You know what happens. Some of these as well, some warmer clouds up here. That's actually set, this goes into quite a dark grey. Up here I've, um, I've got this, looks a bit like a wedge so I'm just blending that a little bit more. All right, now I think that sky is too busy, so I am going to go back in and blend this because I want this to look a lot more uniform so the clouds that's better I think just lighten this up a fraction where more sun a little bit more light coming through there we are now that's looking a bit dirty over here and that is a bit dirty on the painting. So I'm going to carry that over. Ooh, this is <gasps> horror. It's all right. I'll come back in with some of this. Don't blend it this time. A light, yeah, light lemon. This warmer, slightly warmer one. Very light touch. 
Now I'm going to stand up and have a look at that. It's difficult to um, explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, but it just really is the final touches for me. Just darken that little bit up. Is that light? I've... I don't know if it's going to help. Let's see. Get rid of you. I think find out my horizon a bit more. Mm. think I mean you can actually get away with putting in an even darker orange here if you wanted use that middle orange just to merge these I'd like this down here, I might just have a, just a fraction more, so that's that dark teal. Yeah, just ties it in a bit more with the sky, looks like this light's coming down on it. So all that's left for me to do is put my little boats in, which is always easier said than done. the luminosity. Just when you think it's all going so well, fear not. They're little boats and they literally are uh, just a little a mark. I'm just going to go straight in and and a very, very I just want this little one here as well. Oh, which I don't have to put in, but. Hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to see yours.